Hi, I'm Michelle Witherburn. I'm the Acting Head Teacher for Social Sciences. I'm just going to go through um, a little bit of information about what your students have been doing um, over the last two terms in their subject for Year 12 and last term for Year 7 Geography, and then give a little bit of information on what's expected going into Term 2. So to start off with, with um, Year 12 Business Services, um, what they've covered over the last two terms is uh, prepare and process financial documents by recording and balancing petty cash transactions, preparing invoices and statements for debtors, re rectifying discrepancy and preparing checks and deposit slips, um, contributing to workplace innovation was done by identifying opportunities to do things better, discussing and developing ideas with others and addressing the practicalities of change. What is going to happen next term is that students will continue completing Cluster E, which is about working effectively in the business environment. Um, please make sure you keep in contact with your teacher, Ms. Dani, if you have any issues and seek assistance whenever it's needed. And good luck for Term 2. For Year 12 Business Studies, we've covered two of our four topics. So we've covered um, Operation, which looks at the influences, processes and strategies of operation management um, of transnational businesses. And our second topic that we covered was marketing, which looks at influences, processes and strategies for managing the marketing of transnational business to inform and influence customers to buy their products. So we've just started on our um, financial management topic, which is our third topic, and that'll continue on to about week five of next term. And then we'll start on human resource management. Both of our assessments over the last two terms have been our research case studies, one on marketing and one on operations. Overall, the students did pretty well with those assessments. Um, for those that didn't do as well, just be careful about making sure you write it in business report formats and ensure that you seek assistance from your teachers. Some students did not send drafts to their teachers, which therefore we couldn't give a lot of feedback on, so they need to make sure that they complete that on time. Um, going forward, we've got a finance business report, which is due in, in week five. So I really do encourage students to send the draft to their teachers as soon as possible so we can give feedback on that. Um, please make sure you keep in contact with Miss Lee or myself um, just to get any feedback or any queries that you have for business studies. Okay, for Year 12 Economics, um, what's been covered over the last two terms, um, they've covered two of the four topics. Um, topic one, the global economy, which looks at the operation of the global economy and impact of globalisation on individual economies. And topic two, Australia and the global economy, which examines Australia's place in the global economy and the effects of changes in the global economy on Australia. So over the next term, I've just started on economic issues. Um, which is the economic growth topic and we'll be completing this by end of week six of term two and then you will start on economic policies and management. Um, for economics have completed two assessments, one on the global economy and one on Australia and the global economy. Overall both of these assessments were completed well. Advice for students is to ensure that they work on the essay writing and complete more in-depth research. Some students did not complete drafts and therefore did not receive meaningful, meaningful feedback from their teacher. The next assessment, which is due in week nine next term, is an economic policies and management research task. It's important that all students send their teacher a draft to receive feedback. And for this subject, please make sure you keep in contact with your teacher, Miss Lee, if you have any issues and seek assistance when needed. Uh, for year 12 work studies, um, in term four last year, uh, we do, uh, delved into the depth of important issues related to people and their working lives. We looked at workplace relations and regulations, how to deal with disputes in the workplace, um, performance review process and how to finish with an employer well and dealing with unemployment. In term one, we cover the topic titled personal finance, where students, are, where students learn to successfully manage their finances after obtaining a job. Um, students completed a series of handout activities from comparing different types of superannuation funds to completing a tax return. Um, students completed their assessment task on their personal budgets where they to make decisions such as whether they can take out a loan, how much they can spend and save. Um, all these knowledge and skills are to ensure they're confident managing their finances in the future. In term two, we're looking at what, what does it involve when it comes to conducting your own business? What does it involve to run a successful business? In this topic, we'll be covering the pros and cons of self-employment, personal attributes and management skills and looking at pitfalls and common mistakes which lead to failure of businesses. 
So for the assessment for this particular topic, students will be conducting a research project on small business failures where they are to investigate the reasons for that failure. Um, and for this particular subject, please make sure you keep in contact with your teacher, Ms. Al, if you have any issues and seek assistance when needed. Year 7 Geography. What's been covered over the first term? Um, developed and extended a student's ability to understand your ge geographical concepts and skills. So there's a lot of focus on developing basic skills, mapping skills, um, understanding bolts and longitude and latitude, um, just as an introduction to geography, with a small introduction to the water in the world topic, which we will carry on um, covering in term two. So they'll be looking at the exploring the importance of water, explore the sources of water for human use and the different ways people use water. They'll look at strategies used to preserve water and how water is being understood by people around the world. And especially in the times that we're, we're in, access to fresh water is really, really important. Um, so the assessment that they'll be expected to do will be demonstrating their understanding of water creatively creatively, so I'll be looking at the water cycle and how that impacts on water scarcity. Um, and for that one, just please make sure that you keep in contact with your teachers if you have any issues and seek assistance when needed. And good luck for turn two.